Let's talk about a new tour cap system that has been set up after the release of the 1.28 patch on the 7th of May 2020 for Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wi-Fi Studios. So, what has this 1.28 patch tried to correct? Well, uh, let's see the different capping here uh, on tour, tour by tour. So before the patch, the tour matches used to work in a way where there was no limit to players' powers, which caused a lot of issues with players going back to lower tours to practice or to rebuild their coin stash. And because of the lack of opponents in the same trophy range, this could cause an imbalance in the matchmaking. And following in the same fashion that the big weekly tournament works, the Tennis Clash publisher has introduced the tour cap, which limits now the items level on each tour. So here is how it will work for each tour from one to seven. Let's finish the different uh, tours rows. So instead of going in the tour one, for instance, with my current build, which is shown on the screen right now, the build number two, well, I will be capped if I enter the tour one with those attributes for the tour one. As you can see, instead of having a normal agility of 64, I will enter the tour one now with an agility of 28. Instead of a stamina of 29, I will enter the tour one with stamina of nine. Instead of a serve of 61, I will enter the tour one with a serve of 36. Instead of a forehand of 72, I will enter the tour one with a forehand of 41. Instead of a backhand of 55, I will enter the tour one with a backhand of 29. And well, the volley, I don't even talk about that, but a volley of uh, 31, I will enter uh, with a volley of 10, but this doesn't matter because uh, my build is uh, essentially an aggressive baseliner one. So as you can see, it will be much easier for my opponent to fight versus me after the 1.28 patch, thanks to the tour cap system, than versus my normal attributes like it was the case before the patch, back when I didn't have any capping put on my items when I entered this tour one. So if I wanted to compare my cap attributes with my normal ones, I can tap on the button open lineup to go um, back to my lineup screen so as to make the uh, global comparison. And here it is again, once I have tapped on the button open lineup. So for the tour two, instead of going there with my current build, which is shown on the screen right now, well, I will be capped with those um, attributes for the tour two. As you can see, instead of having a normal agility of 64, I will enter Tour 2 now with an agility of 34. Instead of a stamina of uh, 29, I will enter the Tour 2 with a stamina of uh, 14. Instead of a serve of 61, I will enter the Tour 2 with a serve of 42. Instead of a volley attribute of 31, I will enter Tour 2 with a volley attribute of 14. Instead of a forehand of 72, I will enter the Tour 2 with a forehand of 46. Instead of a backhand of 55, I will enter the Tour 2 with a backhand of 34. So, same thing here. It will be easier for my opponent to fight versus me in the Tour 2 after the 1.28 patch, thanks to the Tour Cap system, than versus my normal attributes, like it was the case before the, uh, the patch back when I didn't have any cap ping put on my items when I entered this same tour too. Oh, right. So, for the tour three, same thing. Instead of going there with my current build, which is shown on the screen right now, the build two, you see the stats. I will be cap with those attributes when I enter the tour three. So as you can see, instead of having a normal agility of 64, I will enter the tour 3 now with an agility of 42. Instead of a stamina of 29, I will enter the tour 3 with a stamina of 18. Instead of a serve of 61, I will enter the tour 3 with a serve of 48. Instead of a volley of 31, 
and we enter with a volley of 19 instead of a forehand of 72 it will be a forehand 51 and instead of a backhand of 55 it will be a backhand of 39 and bis repetita for the tour 4 instead of going there with my current build which is shown on the screen right now well I will be capped with the following attributes for the tour 4 so I'm not going to uh, talk about the digits, the numbers again. You can uh, make the observation by yourself. And same thing for the 25, instead of going there with my current burn, which is shown on the screen right now, well, I will be capped with the following attributes for the 25, cast level cap of 11. As you can see, instead of having a normal agility of 64, we enter to a 5 now with an agility of 63 only. So it's quite limited. Uh, as a as, um, reduction, instead of a stamina of 29, it will be stamina of 28. Instead of a serve of 61, it will be a serve of 60. Instead of a forehand of 72, it will be a forehand of 70. Instead of a backhand of 55, it will be a backhand of 54. So the gap is it will be a bit wider versus a potential opponent having not very high level um, items. It will, be, it will be a bit wider than in previous tours from 1 to 4. Because the capping is set to level 11 for this tour 5. While I have most of my cards at level 11 as well. For the Tour 6, because I have no item above level 12, as you can see in my normal lineup here, well, the game will just um, not show any capping button. Well, it couldn't have explained why I don't have capping for this tour with a kind of reminder like, uh, you are not capped for this tour as you have no card higher than level 12. But normally, players should understand by themselves why they don't see a tour cap button next to the entry fee button for tour 6. So for the tour 6, if I had 11, 13 cards in my lineup, and I'm going to, uh, to uh, put some 11, 13 cards in my lineup, so as to show you that uh, the game will detect that I have above level 12, cards and show me a capping button for the two six see and it will show the different attributes once uh, I'm capping and well let's change back to the normal lineup uh, because those level 13 cards are not good uh, for my build of course so as you can see if you don't if I don't have level 13 cards the gap of attributes and total power will remain unchanged after the 1.28 patch versus before the patch and once I have changed back to normal cards as you can see there's no more tour cap button when I want to enter tour 6 again and for the tour 7 well it's the same thing there's a capping at level 13 for all cards for this tour, which is the max level in any way in the game. So there is no tour cap button for the tour 7 next to the entry fee button. So let's play now a match for fun in the tour 1, normally, unless I face another opponent having the same level of experience and roughly the same trophies number. I should keep the advantage of having more experience than my opponent, especially if uh, he's a newbie. I choose the tour 1 because the higher the tour I enter, the higher will be, uh, will be my attributes and the wider will be the gap between me and a potential beginner. So as you can see my stats were still higher thanks mainly to better items I think than my opponents. And well for the match I think that uh, experience may play a role as well. Here we go. Yet obviously, this is uh, with higher stats, this is easier, of course. So, uh, unless I match versus a, an opponent having almost the same stats, 
it is difficult for my uh, opponent to uh, to fight even after this match. But it it is it is um, well it was much harder before the patch, of course. If uh, I think because the gap will be even wider. Let's take a look again at the uh, the difference of stats. Do in a cap environment. Well, this tour cap system is going to help the competitiveness and fairness of matches somehow by making the playing field much more even. So, of course, the players having the items that can only be unlocked at higher tours like uh, tour 7 and tour 8 will still have an advantage over the players who haven't unlocked those items yet. For instance, I have items that are unlocked since tour 7 like the hammer, racket, and the forge. And I will definitely have an advantage over an opponent who doesn't have them, of course. However, thanks to the tour cap, well, the opponent who doesn't have those items will not have a too high attributes gap anymore, like before the 1.28 patch. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me explain the new tour cap system, which has been applied since the 1.28 patch in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wi-Fi Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye-bye.